I know accepting Teddy's jazz brunch invite was the only way to get his phone back and save the 99, but this place is literally hell. Expand the dick in the lickety split. She's doing jazz about brunch. Maybe it's not too late to get out of here. We could start a new life in the country. Maybe open a small bookstore. How dare you tempt me with a small bookstore? We need to focus. Look, Teddy's over there. Oh, and he's in fun casual wear. His phone is out on the table, like it always is, because he fears the radiation will affect his testicles. Which are connected to his average size. Jake? Right, it's misshapen, that's all that matters. All right, here's the plan. We stage a fight, it escalates, and then I flip over the table in dramatic fashion. Do we need the table flip? Amy, when the opportunity presents itself to flip at a table, oh, you flip at a table. And in the chaos, you grab his phone, delete the recording, and we're golden. Perfect. All right, let's stage a fake fight. This will be fun, right? Pretending like we have things to be mad at each other about. Jake's chronic tardiness, his slobbiness, and the fact that he wasted half the morning deciding what sneakers to wear. Those are just some of the reasons we're late. No one cares about your sneakers, Jake. Yeah, very convincing. We're just glad you guys made it. This is Rachel, my girlfriend. Hi. So Teddy said you guys had such a blast at the stakeout. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was incredible. But can I really quickly just say the real reason we were late was that Amy insisted on brushing her teeth for 30 minutes? Two minutes, or one minute 58 seconds longer than you did. Anyway, can we please just talk to our friends? Oh, fine. Fine. So, Rachel, how did you guys meet? Oh. <laughs> Such a wild story. So, I was on an elevator, and so was Teddy. Oh, that's the whole story. I think it's romantic. I remember when our relationship had magic moments like that before it went stale. Uh, stale? Mm. Okay. You want some action, Jackson? Well, how about I make a scene? Whoa. Ah. What are you doing? Flipping the table. Yeah. It's bolted down. Oh, what a shock. You tried something and failed. Okay, you know what? That's it. Swipe it out! I am so sorry. I got carried away. I will now clean this up entirely by myself. No, please keep your eyes on me as I make this sincere apology. I am sorry. It's okay. Something crazy always happens at Jazz Brunch. It's the Wild West. <laughs> oh, man, Teddy. Look what happened. Your phone landed directly in this glass of OJ. That seems almost impossible. Almost being the key word, but it happened for real and we all know it. There you go. That's it. You've gone too far. I am storming off now. No, you've gone too far and I'm storming off now. Hey, guys. It's Teddy from Jazz Brunch. Hey, Teddy. It's Teddy from Jazz Brunch. Why is he here? I don't know, but the fake fight's back on. So shut it, you big mouth bitch and your stupid sneakers. If you don't like my shoes, you can just tell me. Hi. Can I talk to you guys about something? Actually, Teddy, this is not a good time. We're still having a pretty big fight. Well, I think what I'm about to say myself thinks. Amy, I'm still in love with you. What? 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 Uh-oh. A skip is cop scoop. This is super uncomfortable. Jazz. OK, OK, everybody, just calm down and take a deep breath. <sighs> what the hell is going on, man? Yeah, what the hell is going on? You got a girlfriend. I know, and she's fine. Thanks. Sorry, I was really planning on you being in the cab during this. Okay, that wouldn't make it better. Amy, I'm just, I'm not over you yet. And I would have never said anything because I thought you and Jake were happy, but after seeing you at Jazz Brunch, I think I might have been wrong. Don't read into that. That was a freak argument. We are very happy. Amy, we have all the same interests. We have so much chemistry. When we're together, it's like no matter where we are, it's San Diego. I feel compelled to tell you that San Diego is terrible. I'm gonna lay it all on the line. Amy, Santiago. Will you marry me? What? Okay, really, could you stay in the cab? I'm sorry, I'll be right there, I promise. Or maybe I won't. What's your answer? Teddy, I don't want to be with you. But you want to be with him? You guys have nothing in common. Oh, yeah? Tell that to William Atherton, the man we both consider to be the second best diehard villain. <gasps> she meant it. And also, yes, we are different people, but I love that about us. I love that Jake's a little messy and that he cares so much about his dumb sneakers and he doesn't get stressed out about calendars. Or flossing my teeth. No, the non-flossing is crazy. Copy that and I love you. I'm just so confused. Your fight was like something out of a movie. Teddy, no. I have to tell you the truth. No, uh, Amy is dying. She has one month to live. Marrying her would be a waste of time. Jake and I were only pretending to fight so that we could destroy your phone. While we were on the stakeout and you were in the bathroom, we said you were the most boring man in America and your phone recorded it. I'm sorry. We didn't want you to get mad at us and fail the precinct. Wow. You guys are the worst. Oh. You just proposed in front of your girlfriend, so potato, potato. Amy, I loved you. All right, I'm ready to go, Rachel. Should we hit up the Tenement Museum? No! no.